Fall is the best time for men's fashion and style. We can finally break out some of our cooler weather essentials after being restricted to shorts and short sleeve shirts all summer long. So today we're going over 10 outfits that can help you dress with amazing style this fall season. Let's get right into it. Starting off with the first outfit, the one that I'm actually wearing today, a dark navy polo shirt, short sleeve, dark wash slim fit denim paired with some really nice black Vans slip-ons. Couple of notes about this outfit. You're gonna wanna make sure that your shirt fits you properly. Right here, you want that shoulder seam to be sitting right at your shoulder. You don't want the sleeve of your short sleeve shirt to be too high or too long. You don't want a lot of excess fabric around the midsection and the waist. This is going to make you look bigger in that area than you actually are, which is something that none of us want. Also gonna wanna make sure that it fits nicely up in the chest area, not too loose, but a little bit more snug, like it's giving you a nice stylish hug. And of course, it shouldn't be too long, but it shouldn't be too short either. Something like this is going to be totally fine. The jeans, depending on what brand pants you go with, you could either go with a slim or a slim straight fit. These are Levi's 511 slim fit. They're a bit more of a slim straight by today's standards. I did size up one in the waist, which gives them plenty of room to move around in the thighs and the upper areas while still being nice and streamlined, not all baggy down by my feet. Now shoes for this outfit, this is really up to you. I wanted to keep it nice and casual, which is why I went with my all black Vans slip-ons. Now when it comes to cooler weather, a lot of you are going to be wearing t-shirts rather than polo shirts. Me personally, I don't like wearing t-shirts unless I'm going to the gym or exercising. However, you can still rock a t-shirt and look absolutely amazing. And there we go, swap the top out for the navy blue t-shirt, same colors. So this also brings us into our second outfit, wearing a flannel shirt over that t-shirt. And the flannel shirt is a great cooler weather option. If you wear it the way that I'm showing you right now, just with the sleeves rolled up a little bit and with the shirt open, this is definitely going to be the most casual option. But this does look better than just wearing the t-shirt alone, especially in the fall months. Now what you would also do is you could go ahead and button the flannel shirt and just leave the top open a little bit like that. That way the flannel's not going to be flopping around in the wind. This is gonna give you a more streamlined look and make you look more slim since the sides are not gonna be closer to your body. And if the flannel shirt is the proper size and the proper fit, this is going to make you look slimmer than if you wear it open. Now I said the proper size and the proper fit. You wanna make sure those shoulder seams hit right here. You don't want it to be all the way down here. Remember that photo I throw up in some of my videos? Ross from Friends, that huge red dress shirt. You don't want that. You also don't want the shoulder seam to be sitting on top of your shoulder. You want that shoulder seam to be boom, right at the edge of your shoulder blade. Now, when it comes to the sleeves of the flannel shirt, you definitely don't wanna to go too baggy, but you don't need to go super tight either. Since this is a long sleeve shirt, the tighter that you go, the more restrictive it's going to be and the less comfortable it's gonna be for you to move around. On the sleeve on this shirt, you could see I do have a little bit of room, but just when I'm crossing my arms like that, you could see it does start to pull the fabric a little bit keeps it comfortable, but it's also slimmer than just a ginormous fitting shirt. And there's also a third way of wearing the flannel shirt. Right now, I just have it half buttoned up. You can button it all the way up and hide your undershirt. That way you don't see it popping up. And now last year, I always wore my flannel shirts like this, pretty much just wore them as buttoned up dress shirts. This is gonna be a great option if you wanna wear it to an after work dinner party, since it's gonna be a lot more casual than a stuffy dress shirt, but it's still gonna look miles better than just a basic t-shirt. And now it's time for outfit number three, light blue Oxford shirt, still the same slim dark wash jeans, Levi's 511, as well as casual leather shoes not boots, shoes. Now my pick for shoes are gonna be the Cole Haan Original Grand in either this color or the color that I'm wearing. It's just the same thing with the lighter colored outsole. Now yes, you can go with a pair of boots like these. These things are absolutely sick. For me, it's a bit too early to be wearing boots all the time and something like a hybrid dress shoe from Cole Haan is nice, sleek, and sophisticated. It's going to look a lot better than a pair of Vans slip-ons or Vans old schools, but it's also gonna be super comfortable as well. So this is a great casual option. Now think of the light blue Oxford shirt as a dressed up flannel. That's the way that you should be wearing this shirt. And you could just do a whole bunch with the light blue Oxford shirt. Dress it up all the way to a casual suit in the fall or winter months, or dress it all the way down to just jeans and casual shoes or boots like you're seeing right now. For outfit number four, we're keeping 
the light blue Oxford shirt, but instead of the dark wash jeans, we're actually rocking a pair of khaki colored casual pants. Now these are also Levi's 5.11s, however they are not jeans. They're jeans style, we've got the coin pocket right here, we've got the pocket from the top, not the pocket from the side, and the more dressy pants, but they're definitely a little bit more of a softer feel than the denim, and a little bit easier for those warmer fall days, or days that we tend to have in the beginning of the season. Now by simply swapping out the denim for a pair of these, you can see it really does brighten the outfit up, makes it look a little bit less boring, a little bit less generic and gives it a bit more life. And of course, same shoes, Cole Haan Original Grand, just a great casual shoe for long walks and looking a lot better than wearing a pair of casual sneakers. Now for the fifth outfit, we're having a little bit more fun. We're nixing that Oxford shirt, swapping it in with a darker blue checked pattern, very subtle pattern, flannel shirt, keeping the rest of the outfit the same khaki colored five pocket chinos and the same Woodbury colored original grand with that white ivory sole on the bottom. Now, usually in the fall months, you don't see this outfit or this style of outfit too often. We're always so busy wearing our flannel shirts over our t-shirts and our denim and our boots, but this is a great opportunity to just do something a little bit different from the crowd or a little bit different from just your normal flannel jeans and boots. And the dark blue shirt on top with the khaki pants on the bottom match absolutely perfectly. If you're like me and you really enjoy wearing medium to dark blue shirt or dark blue on top, khaki color pants are definitely an essential. If you're not wearing khakis for the fall months, I'm telling you right now, you're missing out. Now it's time for outfit number six, in case anyone is still counting. For this outfit, what we're doing is we're putting on a short sleeve light blue polo shirt. This polo shirt exactly, I happen to have two of them from Collars & Co. And wearing a nice medium gray v-neck sweater over that polo shirt while keeping Levi's 5.11s and the Cole Haan Original Grand brown and white shoes exactly the same. Now what makes this outfit so much more unique than the other outfits we've talked about in this video, we're actually starting to add layers and add some dimension to the outfit. Now layering the thin sweater over the polo shirt is going to give you a more three-dimensional look and it's also gonna be super helpful if the day starts out super cold or super cool rather, but then the afternoon temperatures reach up to the low or mid 70s, you're gonna be able to shed that sweater but still look good since you're wearing that awesome polo shirt. And speaking of awesome polo shirt, now it's time for outfit number seven. For this outfit, we're gonna lose that sweater and just go with the polo shirt by itself. Also untucked the sweater. When I had the sweater on, I tucked the polo shirt in, just looks a lot better that way. And now if the temperatures rise unexpectedly, you're still gonna be a lot more comfortable. You're not gonna overheat in a long sleeve shirt or that sweater, but you're still gonna look absolutely amazing if you got a nice fitted polo. By the way, something I repeated in the beginning of this video, you wanna make sure everything that you're wearing fits. Notice the polo, the shoulder seams are right there. The sleeves right in the middle of my tricep and bicep. My collar isn't too big, it's not being pulled too tight. The length, pretty perfect, it's coming right down here a little bit past my belt and there's not a whole bunch of excess fabric. That goes for flannels, that goes for dress shirts, that goes for t-shirts, polos, anything that even goes for the v-neck sweaters. And with the pants that we're talking about, the Levi's 511 jeans and the khaki colored Levi's 511 chinos, you definitely are going to want to make sure that they're not too slim around the what's this called, around your calves, but also not too baggy either. No boot cut, no baggy straight fit, definitely more of a slim or a slim straight fit, but not skinny either. They shouldn't look like they're painted on, but it shouldn't look like you're wearing Jenkos from the 90s. Anyone remember Jenkos? J-N-C-O, probably short for Jean Company. If you do, let me know down below and let me know if you had a pair. I definitely did in about sixth grade. So rather than repeating that constantly every single outfit, just remember everything has to fit. Fit is key, fit is king. It is the most important thing when it comes to dressing stylishly. Now it's time to talk about outfit number eight. Staying with the light blue polo shirt, threw on a navy blue merino wool v-neck sweater, nice, thin, lightweight, but warm. Back to the khaki colored chinos, but also instead of those Cole Hans, threw on some Allen Edmonds Dalton wingtip dress boots. Now if you look at the outfit we talked about, that gray sweater with the jeans and the polo underneath, this is the same concept. However, we just switched the colors around a bit. Instead of wearing navy blue pants, the jeans, we're actually wearing a navy blue top, but the khaki colored jeans. This coloring is gonna make it a lot more appropriate for a holiday party, an after work get together, since it definitely does look a bit more dressy and a bit more 
preppy if you would. Not that I really consider myself preppy at all. Some of you might. But the navy blue sweater on top of the light blue polo shirt and the khakis on the bottom are going to look absolutely amazing on just about anyone. Another great option that's definitely very popular and I used to do all the time is wearing a long sleeve dress shirt or Oxford shirt underneath the merino wool v-neck sweater. Now what this is going to do is number one it's going to keep you warmer but number two it is going to show some of that shirt cuffs over here which is not as essential when you're wearing a sweater it's more essential when you're wearing a suit or sport coat it still is going to look a little bit more stylish than just showing no shirt sleeves like I'm showing right now because my shirt sleeves are all the way up here they short sleeve shirt ends right here. But I would urge you to try to wear the polo shirt underneath the sweater instead of that long sleeve shirt, just because especially in the warmer fall months, the early fall months, it's gonna be a little bit easier since you're gonna be able to shed that sweater like you saw and just wear the short sleeve polo instead of having the long sleeve and having to roll it up. That can even be a bit too hot when the temperatures rise. And it's also gonna be a lot easier to throw the sweater on and off. Now I finally changed out of the Cole Haan casual shoes and threw on the Dalton dress boots. Yes, it's a bit early for me to be wearing boots here in early October 2024, but the dress boots are super comfortable. You could also go with something like a medium brown dress shoe like this. This is the Allen Edmonds McAllister, my favorite dress shoe. If you are going to opt to wear a dress shoe or dress boot, just make sure that they're comfortable if you're planning on going for longer walks or you're prepared if it actually starts raining or the ground is wet, whether you have a top sole or a sole protector right here or you want to throw your galoshes or your rubbers in your backpack you should be good to go but that's just something else you have to think about when wearing nicer shoes for outfit number nine same thing with outfit number seven shed that sweater make it a bit more casual a bit easier to wear on those warmer days just with that light blue polo shirt that fits you properly but it's still going to have you looking like an absolute boss now an outfit like this i would typically wear something a little bit more casual like the cole Haan original grands that i was wearing at the beginning of this video but the nice thing about dress boots is that you can dress them all the way up to a suit but they're more casual than dress shoes and a lot of times more comfortable too keep that in mind so they are going to pair even with a t-shirt and jeans if you do it right they're just so versatile you can dress them down a lot further and finally for outfit number 10 throw on a nice medium navy sport coat over that outfit, the light blue Oxford shirt with the khaki colored five pocket pants and the Allen Edmonds dress boots. And the reason why this outfit is so good is just because it is super dressy compared to all the other outfits that we talked about. The only thing we could do to really dress it up more is put on some nicer pants and nicer shoes, maybe a long sleeve dress shirt or go with a full suit. And while those outfits are gonna be a lot more better for formal situations, you do lose out on a lot of the versatility. Since you saw this outfit, all we did compared to outfit number nine is throw on that navy sport coat meaning if it gets too hot if you feel like you're overdressed or you just want to take your jacket off there you go boom super easy the rest of the outfit still looks really good it can stand on its own and the sport coat completes it whereas if you try to do this with a full suit with a dress shirt and tie it's always going to look incomplete unless you're wearing that jacket now the sport coat you choose should fit you properly i did a video a while ago talking about how a suit should fit the way a suit jacket should fit is exactly how a sport coat should fit the video should be linked above right now and a properly fitting sport coat is going to be a lot more important than how much money you spend or how nice it actually is in other words a perfectly fitting cheap sport coat is going to be a lot better than an ill-fitting very expensive very nice luxurious sport coat a couple of other notes about this outfit i used to always wear it with a long sleeve dress shirt or an oxford shirt now i always opt for a short sleeve polo shirt now, the same issue of not having any dress shirt cuff to show is going to present itself here since the sleeves on my outfit actually end right here however opting for a short sleeve polo shirt rather than a long sleeve shirt is going to give you more versatility in terms of seasonality since if it does get a bit hotter in the afternoon you're not going to feel as stuffy or feel like you're sweating as much since you've only got one sleeve not a second sleeve underneath there trapping all that heat and causing you to sweat a bit of a bonus outfit here what you you could also do to make this outfit look a lot more interesting just add that navy blue merino v-neck sweater over the polo shirt and underneath the sport coat so this is really going to set you apart from a lot of other guys out there that are just wearing the 
basic dress shirt, dress pants, and sport coat, or just a full suit. Layering a sweater underneath the sport coat is going to give the outfit so much more of a three-dimensional feel versus just that dress shirt look with a jacket over it. Now you might be asking, why don't you just wear a long sleeve Oxford shirt since now I do have on a long sleeve sweater. My reason for that is you just get so much better of a look, so much more of a three-dimensional look with this outfit. And it does keep you warmer for those cooler mornings. But also if the temperatures do rise unexpectedly in the afternoon, you can shed that sweater and you still get to wear that sport coat, which is gonna give you a much more formal look without overheating and sweating like crazy, which is not gonna be as easy to do if you're wearing a long sleeve Oxford shirt or even a long sleeve dress shirt. Now that we went over all 10 outfits with that bonus outfit, this one you're looking at, I want to leave you with a couple of tips. When you're out there shopping for new shirts, sweaters, or whatever, definitely choose more muted earth tones. Think different shades of navy blue, light blue, white, khaki, gray. And I'll admit just saying those colors right now sounds pretty boring, but you can really get a lot of versatility and more of an interchangeable wardrobe with less pieces by just being able to mix and match these colors. Notice the shirts I have over here. I have white, I have light blue. This is the same one that I'm wearing. I have two of them. I have a lighter mini gingham, micro gingham. I have a darker micro gingham and I have two navy blue. These shirts I can wear with jeans. I can wear with khakis. I can wear with gray pants. Pretty much I can wear any of these shirts with any of the pairs of pants that I have. One exception would be the navy blue polo shirts. I just have to be careful if I'm trying to rock one of these with the jeans. But as you saw for the first outfit in this video, as long as you do have a bit of contrast, you're good. But stay away from your pastel colors, your bright yellows, your bright pinks, your purples, your turquoises. Those colors are gonna look great over other muted colors such as black or navy blue jeans or dress pants or chinos. But as soon as you start to wear them over gray or khaki, it starts to fall apart real fast. Not to mention if you like wearing medium brown shoes, those colors don't really match as well. It's just gonna look a lot better with dark brown or black shoes. So while those colors do look awesome on the clothing rack, and I'll admit I used to love wearing purple shirts, teal shirts, bright pink shirts, all that stuff, the blues, the whites, the neutrals, the boring color is gonna be a lot easier to match and create great outfits. Notice a lot of these outfits in this video, you could really create a lot more outfits. You can wear that navy blue polo over jeans or you can wear it over the khakis. You can wear the medium brown shoes pretty much with jeans or khakis. Everything works together as it should. It's just gonna make life a lot easier for you. Add some dimension to your outfit by utilizing layers. Instead of just wearing the light blue Oxford shirt, those long sleeve button up shirts with an undershirt sleeves rolled up, try to wear a sweater over them or better yet, wear one of the polo shirts with a sweater over them. You can get something like a quarter zip sweater, which is gonna look great. Or if you're like me and you love the V-neck sweaters, that's a great option as well. It's just gonna look a lot more interesting and feel much better than constantly just wearing the same old button ups, sleeves rolled up to here. I'm not saying never wear it, just don't get caught wearing the same exact thing because it's gonna get pretty boring pretty fast. Bonus tip number three, utilize khaki chinos and khaki colored pants more often. It's super easy to just get caught up in wearing jeans every single day from fall all the way till late spring. And I get it, jeans, especially dark wash jeans, are absolutely awesome to wear. But khakis are still gonna be a great option, especially if you like to wear darker colors on top. It's gonna create a super nice contrast and just something you're not gonna get with dark wash jeans. You're pretty much only gonna be limited to light colors on top or the gray sweater like you saw me wearing before when you're wearing jeans if you do wanna create that contrast. And in the earlier days of fall, the khaki color pants are usually gonna be a lot more breathable than your denim since your denim is a lot heavier and better, more insulating for those colder months. Don't get caught wearing combat or casual style boots all the time. Branch out and get something a little bit nicer, a little bit dressier, like the Allen Edmonds Dalton wingtip dress boot, which steadily has been discontinued. Or some of the other Allen Edmonds boots like the Landon Capto, which is very similar to the Thursday Captain you see right here. Thursday also has the Captain that just has a regular sole. The color brandy looks absolutely awesome. While I do love those combat style boots and those rugged workwear boots, you're gonna get so much more versatility out of wearing a nicer dress boot. And if it's not too cold outside and you're walking a long time, 
don't be scared to wear something like this, a more comfortable, casual option that's just gonna be overall easier to wear and walk in all day as compared to something like a heavier pair of work boots. Now I know hybrid shoes stirred up a lot of controversy, but I'm telling you, if you wanna to come to New York City and walk 10 miles with me in the rain or the snow, you're probably gonna want something like this toward that end of those 10 miles since a lot of the nicer style of boots your feet are gonna be hurting a lot sooner than this. So just branch out, try new things. Boots are sick, but don't discount more comfortable casual shoes like this. They can still look just as good. So that's it, 10 basic outfits that I would wear this fall season. These are more geared for early fall, but you could definitely wear them more in the late fall as well. Just have to utilize layering and utilize those warmer fabric. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you liked any of these outfits and let me know what you would wear. I definitely wanna hear from you. And as always, I appreciate you being here. Boo, thanks for watching.